so this is how it works. So I ended up Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, as you know, we've just moved into the unit. So, we haven't really unpacked, to be completely honest, because um, I launched the podcast and work was just crazy. Speaking of, when we launched, we hit number one on the Apple podcast charts in all of Australia. And I got to number two on Spotify all over Australia. So, number one was Joe Rogan. And then the, number three was like the inspired unemployed. Like my mind was blown, absolutely blown. I was blown away by the response. So I just want, firstly want to say thank you so much. And just like the feedback from the podcast too was just insane. Like, I'm just so glad you guys love it. And yeah, I can't believe it, honestly. I feel like in a minute, like Mark Zuckerberg's gonna like give me a call and a limo's gonna rock up. <laughs> but anyways, today's vlog is all about kind of like pottering around the house. It's Sunday. We're slowly setting up the unit. So I'm just going to show you what we get up to. And again, we're in this unit for five months. So, and the pieces I'm like purchasing, I'm not purchasing much. It's just like things like the wardrobe, we need drawers and things like that. And like, I've got an office now, which is so good. Just bits and pieces really. And I'll reuse that stuff in the new house anyway, or I will just sell it. But yes, I'm really excited to show you guys how to like organize a really small space. This unit is like under 200 square meters. I think, what did, what did he say? I think Rama said it was 180 square meters maybe. So it's quite small. So it's a bit of a different background for a while guys. But anyways, um, but yeah, I did want to say a big thank you about the support for the podcast. I really, really appreciate it. I'm actually going on the Today Show tomorrow morning and I'm like shitting myself. So I think I'm kind of like keeping myself busy because I do, I shit my pants with stuff like that. <laughs> but they interview me about the podcast too, which is so nice. Um, I'm going to try and keep my brain a bit busy so I don't freak myself out too much. Because I always get scared when I do things like that, like talk at events or like the times I've been on TV. I always get scared I'm just gonna like not know what to say and just like I'll just sit there or I'll say something stupid and it never happens but I just always freak out because we're human so yes I'll be on the it's like the today it's today extra because it's after a certain time so I'm trying to tell myself like not many people watch TV it's Monday at 10 30 so don't freak out and no one I'm like no one's watching you Steph <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself all right it's flat pack day in the unit Ryan's having the time of his life I'm done Favourite thing to do on a Sunday. Favourite thing to do. We've got a few things he's already put together. So these, pardon my dress. I bought these for the wardrobe. I don't know if you can see that because there's absolutely no storage um, at all. And we will be using these in the new house, in like the study or the garage or whatever. So yeah, so we've got some of them to finally have some um, clothes storage, hey. Mm -hmm. And then Ryan's put together, I've got this standing desk which I've got, a walking, I've got a walking pad coming as well. So I can have that in my office. I'm actually loving having an office. And then I got this bad boy from Kmart. So that's gonna go in the entryway. We're allowed to hang things, so that is all good. And we can, um, Ryan's obviously a builder and he can just plug all the holes up, can't you tell? <laughs> Painter pain fixes everything. Yeah. So yeah, we're popping this um, in the entryway. We are here for five months, so. Seven. No, five. <laughs> Definitely not seven. But yes, you know, it's fine. She's fine. So there's some of the things we've gotten so far. And yeah, I'll hang this at the front door for our keys and bits and bobs on the shelf. Um, and then I'll have like a basket for shoes. So Ryan's just bringing up the new standing desk. I'm waiting for my um, walking pad to come. I got this one from Bunnings. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop that in. Got this cute new chair. Um, one of the girls will use it in the new house in like this study and it's like rattan with that. Is it buccal, buccal? I always say that wrong, but you know what I mean? That kind of vibe. Yeah, something just nice and simple. You all right? 
I love that this comes with like cages under the desk so you put all your PowerPoints. Oh, oh you okay? Oh yeah, got some instructions in your pants. Okay. Love it. Thank you, Willow. Are you helping? Oh, you're rearranging. Oh, goodness me. Um, here's the... I think when you finish with your cables, you can like oh. attach them up on these hooks. That's so cool. So I'll let you do that. Um, yeah. I might as well so I feel like all desks should come with that type of stuff, eh? Like the hooks and the racks. So good. Ignore this. I got this cable um, container from Amazon, so I'll let you know how that goes. So I can put all that junk in there. So, oh, oh, get okay, Willow. It's pretty cool. Oh. Lots of different buttons for different I think you can, so you can set it for yourself. Oh. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. So where does that go? So I think that. That mum is just going to try this out. Okay. Where did you put the one I'm running over? Oh. And that's it. This that's like I think that's the highest it goes. Mommy, I cannot even. That is really high. So it goes down. Oh, so you preset them. Pretty cool. So that's that. Getting there slowly. So I ended up heading out to Adair's because I had the sale on, and I actually haven't bought us any bed covers or anything in years but I love this it's got like that checkered kind of print it's really pretty and I got some new cushions as well but um yeah it's sort of be nice to freshen it up a little bit so they're like the cushions I got this really cute palm tree one and they're the other ones there so that's that I'm sure you guys have heard of girl math before but so my my girl math from yesterday from buying these bed covers is let's say these sheets they'll last longer than two years but let's just say they'll last two years so I got the price that I paid and then I minus 730 because that's how many nights we'll be sleeping in it <laughs> for the next two years. So that means I made money yesterday. <laughs> Ryan, he's like, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, it does. Go math. It makes sense. I made money because I bought them. They were on sale, number one. Number two, we're going to be getting way more use out of it than the, the price I paid. But to show you guys, I also got these from Adairs as well. So it's like this really cute palm print. I got the European covers. Obviously, I'm not using European ones here, but you get the gist, and that's for the new house. But yeah, so so nice. I um, you can tell I love white linen. You know, it maybe isn't practical. To be honest, I just soak it in nappy sand, and it comes up pretty new. I got the old handy command hooks, which is amazing. My cousin actually lived in this unit before me. Um, and she put these up here because she knows, she knows, she knows the way. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I'm going to be putting command hooks behind our door as well for my wear again hook. My wear again hook is when clothes are too clean to go in the wash, but too dirty to go back in your wardrobe and you're going to wear them again. Hence the wear again hook. And they're great for like uniforms and stuff. So that's what you do to command hooks and you pop it like behind your door or on your walls and it saves your floors from being messy bathroom I haven't set up in here yet but yeah anywhere you can put a command hook for extra storage is a lifesaver especially under the sink in the kitchen for your cloths it's perfect for that here's a wardrobe situation I've just been like um having everything on the bottom for the last few days I've still got to open up these out of their garbage bags and there's some stuff up the top there but yeah those, those drawers are going in there so it'll be so much better and Ryan will have his side as well so I haven't had a chance to organize the linen closet or anything yet, but I've just kind of chucked everything in. Again, I only brought the essentials here because that's all we need. We're only here for five months. Um, and yeah, obviously there's limited space. I ended up getting the girls a little present yesterday from Adairs. Again, girl math, save money. I got them this cute um, rainbow bedspread. It's like a little surprise because they've been sleeping on mattresses on the floor still. We're still waiting for their mattress. Uh, so we can set up the queen bed for them. So yes, but everything's kind of just been chucked in at the moment. I also grabbed this from Amazon um, to put on the girls' 
store for like extra toys and bits and pieces again i'll be using this in the new house anyway um i'll use this for like arts and crafts and cards and stuff um in one of the storage like places in the new house but yeah so i'm gonna pop that on their door as well and they can put like school hats bits and bobs that they just don't want to lose as well because again there's like no storage here oh, she's look at that there we go it's pretty good got some um storage again how good's that can you use this little <laughs> for little for your little um, ant clothes for your undies or something my undies <laughs> mini skirts that i don't wear or your lingerie oh yeah you wish doll you wish i packed all that <laughs> see guys it's pretty good you got like the bottom and you get the sides and you pop it in so it keeps its shape but yeah i'll be using this for like arts and crafts in the new house but this is so good for the kids it's like extra toys and bits and bobs and like their uniform and stuff because they don't have much space in here so that's that's the drawers we could fit in the kids um wardrobe i can't show you this side because it's uniforms decent but um yeah all right so now i'm going to transfer this into here Daddy says this one. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend that this part of the vlog is in the same day as the vlog you've just seen. But as you guys know, if you're watching this now, I have had a few weeks off YouTube. You know, life's just been crazy. It really has. And look what I've done. Your girl's in a moon boot. So Ryan and I, we went to our first festival ever a couple of weeks, actually a month ago now. So we've been in this unit for, I don't know, I think like six weeks maybe. So I filmed that part of the vlog a few weeks ago. Life got hectic, the moon boot happened, and that's why I never finished it. And that's why I also kind of, I had to take a step back from YouTube for a little while because to be honest, work's been insane, like insane. You know, adding in the podcast, which I absolutely love. And then, you know, there's just a lot of challenges that come with, you know, running a business. There's always things going on in the background. So something had to give. And unfortunately that thing was YouTube. Anyway, I'm excited to be back and I'm filming so many vlogs these next few days. So you won't be out. You won't be without another vlog for a while. But yes, going back to this situation, Ryan and I, we went to our first festival. Well, my first festival, Ryan's been to some before and I haven't. So we went to Friday's Lives. It was so much fun. I wore this really cool outfit, which I put here. Um, I just wanted to live my early twenties life again because I didn't get to go to festivals. Cause I was always like on the, the weekends that Ryan would go, I was always working. You know, I worked multiple jobs forever i've always worked multiple jobs and i never had days off you know just trying to get where we wanted to be and things like that and yeah so first time it was so much fun it was like all the old school r&b stuff it was amazing and there was like kelly Rowland, who's literally in her 40s and she looks like early 20s insane like absolutely insane and there was jason derulo who we were meant to meet but then this happened i didn't get to see him anyway yeah it was amazing it was absolutely incredible anyway so i was walking back to the hotel with ryan i was wearing my cowboy boots they were flat the ground was flat next minute my whole ankle gives out and yes i did drink at this event as you guys know i drink on special occasions and i actually am going to do a whole other youtube video on this because i do feel like once nan I feel like I've been going on so many tangents in this part of the video, but anyway, once Nan um, passed, I kind of did go back into the habit of turning to alcohol again. So recently, this is something I'm trying to hone in on again because I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not, but I do drink on special occasions. So I did have some beverages and when I did it, I knew straight away. I knew straight away it blew up. It was huge. It was swollen and it was absolutely excruciatingly painful anyway so your girl's fractured her ankle i've torn ligaments and i'm going to be in this guy for a while i've already been i've already been in it for like nearly a month now and i can't drive which makes it really difficult on ryan like he's because it's obviously my right foot right foot and even if i took my boot off i it's too painful to like use my foot basically and the whole foot was so bruised like my toes were black my foot was like green with the bruise, like the whole thing, it was insane. Sorry, Lily's like tap dancing in the background. So that's what I did. So that's been my life lately. Come here, Lily. Come here. No, 
she wants to go outside just a sec so yes that's what's been going on so i apologize for this very choppy video this very choppy vlog but yeah, I didn't want to like come on and pretend it was on the same day because it's not. It's been a few weeks. But to be completely honest, since that video, I really haven't been able to do much organizing. So I haven't forgotten you guys. You guys will still see everything. I'm going to be getting really into organizing this space and also do so many amazing videos on how to get you guys set up for 2024. I want to be taking you through my framework that I do to like set my goals, to create my perfect routine for the new year and things like that. Because for me, I do need to overhaul my routine as well. So I'm really excited for all the YouTube videos that are to come. And also there's going to be a Pace House update. So yes, I just wanted to hop on and give you a little, little sorry that I haven't been here, but a little, you know, Thing. anyway so with the boot i do have to i wear it 24 7 i just take it off to shower and then i have to wear it to bed so i put like a pillowcase on it because she gets dirty because i can't sleep without it i did try to sleep with like an ankle strap but it was way too painful so yeah and yeah so that's that's what's going on oh my god lily this dog so yes i've still been going to the gym i've still been doing stuff like that i you still can do quite a lot of things i can do upper body i can do a lot of glute work i just can't do like squats and things like that um so i've still been going to the gym i even caught an uber a couple weeks that's how desperate i was to get out and go to the gym i caught an uber his name was darren i gave him five stars he was an absolute legend but yes that's a little update lots of good things to come and i'm really sorry it's been a time it's been a time so here she is this is the situation guys how cute is this mirror though i put like the little greenery over it i am putting a cabinet from the it's actually at the warehouse i'm needing a cabinet because this is just not working look this is the situation guys this was all organized this dog man what are you doing lil she's losing the pot she's a very noisy dog what are you doing no, she's going to ignore me. Cool. Yes, this is the situation. Um, but yes, I am going to put a cabinet there and that can be, and under the stairs is going to be, as I said, like a school drop off zone. And I'm just really excited just to get into it, get into it, get it organized. So my brain doesn't feel like mush. Yes, yeah, so there is a bit of um, recovery and things for this ankle. I don't know why this is so low now. Um, so there is the boot and then I'll go to a brace and then I have to do physio. And again, I did this literally the same thing 10 years ago. Um, I didn't realize I fractured it cause I did say there was like old bone fragments in there, which is really gross. So yeah, fractured it, all the things. I did a really good job. You guys know I don't do things in halves. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's vlog. Sorry it was a bloody hot mess, just like me in my life right now. Appreciate you. Love you. Please also comment below what videos you would like to see coming up. I've got so much goodness in store for you that I'm going to be pre-filming and getting on top of and batching so you guys get consistent YouTube videos. Anyways, love you. Bye.